God bless this kid, because this kid really f***ed up. Because that's dirty as a mom. Because that's another thing. As a mom, nothing in your f***ing mind clicked and said, oh, I'm not going to do this to my kid because this lives on the internet forever. Nothing? Like, not like... Before, what you guys heard, which I still have, no reason to lie, is me telling him, what's wrong with you? Talk like, what's going on with you? I'm scared. Like, I'm like, Wesley, like, what you got to tell me? Like, I'm I'm scared for four minutes. And, and if you listen to the audio again, you will hear my son say a sentence in complete gibberish. And I said, wait, wait, huh? What? When my son has problems saying stuff, well, since this has happened, I've noticed that he go to mumbling like crazy, like, like, it, it was just, and I'm like, what? I'm on the toilet, like my heart in the toilet. I'm what? What? So I'm like, Wesley, please, please. I'm begging him. Please tell me what's wrong with you. Please tell me what's wrong with you. I'm, I'm calm down. I'm like, please don't start crying. Please don't start. I'm, I'm telling myself to calm down. And then y'all heard what y'all heard. Eventually, he did broke down like that. I didn't know he was going to break down like that. I watched my son say, when day? And then he called himself and he goes, when day? And he caught himself and then boom, let it out. I watched him do that. You can hear that. How in the hell? How in the hell will my son be so passionate about something that didn't happen? He said clear as day when David put the screws in my butt. He said it clear as day. There's no coaching. He's five. Right, so the video that David is showing that I'm coaching, that video happened on October 2nd. This video that I recorded happened two, three days ago. So you're telling me, like, damn, I must be a good coach. And he must be a good actor that he can remember what to say. And 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 and, and this is a sidebar because y'all don't know the investigation, but my son's statement has been the Welcome same. back to Conversation with me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. And I need you to hit that like button coming straight into the door of this video. Hit that like button and also... Share this to somebody. You get what I'm saying? Share it on your social medias. Send the link to somebody's phone. Help me build the channel. That's what we're doing over here. So let's get into this situation because it's too much of a doozy. It's... It is... Oh, Lord. It's hard to get into it because... Let's just go with it. You seen the, you seen the video in the beginning and... It's a few questions that I have to ask, and I want y'all to jump down in the comments, and y'all, you know, let's talk about it. FTN Bay Girl, in the beginning of the video, as you've seen, she was saying that she wasn't coaching her son. No, duh, that's not what happened. He's a good actor if I was coaching him, blah, 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 blah. And then she said, um, during this investigation, my child statement has not changed. Now, the part that I'm weary of is that if this is a real investigation, like you being on the victim end, the lawyers, the cops, the detectives, like nobody told you don't go on social media and spread this case. Like don't go showing the video of your son um, telling you what happened. Don't go making statuses and captions and like nobody said that to where if they did you just ignored them and did it anyway because you said this is an investigation I'm only going off of your words FTM Bay so that's why it's like kind of striking striking me as odd and on that video that you guys seen she said uh I'm up here and this is one of the questions that I have to ask when do we stop giving everybody this this young pass you know, like when does be oh when does being young uh, stop being an excuse? Because she said, "I'm putting up some heartbreaking content." Excuse me. There's nothing that's going to happen with my children that I'm that's going to harm them mentally and physically, and I'm going to call it content. When I think of content, I think of people doing stuff on YouTube for a laugh, for, um, you know, for helpful tips, uh, 
a funny video on TikTok. I don't think a person being abused is content. Well, let me. And this is what I mean. So as she's coming out with this information, people are skeptical because they don't know what's real and what's fake. She's a rapper. She's trying to get her career booming, you know, like every other rapper girl out there. And then yesterday as I was in um, Ayo Conseco's The Big Facts Podcast Live, where he was going live about OTF Duty and FTM Bay's Somebody in the comments in the chat said that he has an album dropping. So it's like, oh, man, that's why those skits of people, you don't know what's real and what's fake. Oh, they interrupted the wedding. Oh, she called him at the restaurant. Those kind of skits where, you you know, people don't really know if it's real. That's why I hate those skits, because now you're in a, a world to where you're telling the truth and everybody's going to put clout on top of it everybody's gonna put prank on top of it everybody's gonna put trying to get to the bag on top of it and this is the other question I have in this situation as mothers I'm talking to moms potential moms how much accountability do you take in this situation I'm not saying blame yourself what I'm asking is how much do you is it 50 50 who do you blame because she if you go to her instagram she looks like she getting to the money <laughs> period point blank she just got money everywhere and then that's another thing this is what's confusing about fucking this is what's confusing about women because we say ft ftn if you go on her instagram her ftn says fuck negative energy or something like that uh fuck the negative and then it says it could also mean fuck these niggas if it's really gonna be that if the ftn is really gonna stand for that let it really stand for that until you ready to get into that relationship because what's confusing is you'll be on the phone or producing or projecting to the world that oh i don't like niggas niggas ain't this niggas ain't that da, 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 da. And then you all behind the scenes really in love. Like, what is that about? Another thing is, how long was y'all in a relationship together? Like, for this man to be around your for this man to be left alone. Because you said that you had a show, his flight was canceled, so he was there with the kid. Like, how long have you known this guy to be like, okay, well, it's cool if y'all stay together? Like, has it been a year? You say he's five. We know he's not the dad. This guy says, OTF duty says he has four other kids. Like, how long have y'all known each other? And that's why I asked how much accountability as a mother do we take in these type of situations? She literally just blocked this dude. That's another part. If you, in this thing... <laughs> In this investigation, allegedly, right? The cops didn't tell you to stop contacting this dude? Like, that's what I'm... Because we've seen this just recently play out with Polite. And he had a restraining order against him to not get in contact with them people. Allegedly. For whatever allegedly he did, right? So I would think that would just be protocol. Like, okay, you got to stop being in contact with this person. We got this investigation going on. Because y'all sitting up here saying that the, 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 his lawyer is unprofessional and, you know, it just didn't look official. But that, that seems a little bit more official than what this FTM Bay girl is saying. Because when you think about when the cops are involved, communication, it has to be, like, airtight. And if it's not, then you, you're messing your own case up. Because if this person is just so bad and so frightening, why are you talking to this person? Why are you constantly talking to this person? And how long has the investigation been going on? That's another question. It's people saying like, oh, no, I believe the kid because the kid. And as she was saying in that video, I'm just going to keep referring to what she actually put out there. Because when she actually put something out there, that's no longer alleged. That's actually what the fact. So... The video that she put out, 
she said, oh, my son must be a... <clears throat> My son must be a really good actor because he's just so hysterical and his um he's so hysterical and his story hasn't changed. And I'm here. Me. Me. Remember, me. I'm talking about me as a mother. I remember I was watching this um The Breakfast Club when Dick Gregory is on air. Maybe not even been the Breakfast Club, but I watched a lot of Dick Gregory interviews and I remember him talking about if this was to happen, how you should handle it as a parent. Always just had it in my mind because it actually works in other situations. And what I mean by that is, he said, if your child come to you telling you a situation like this, then remain as calm as possible. Don't get angry and don't get hysterical, like crying and stuff, because the child is going to start thinking that it's their fault, right? And the reason I was saying me, it, I logged into my head is because when um, when my son does something right, uh, I'll say I'll have I'll soften my stance and I'll be like 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 tell me like did you hold on what did you do like <laughs> and I'm just blowing it off and what I'm saying to him I want him to know that I'm telling the truth because I always tell that to my kid. That you have to tell me the truth because I'm telling you the truth. And you got to tell me the truth because me and dad going to be the ones to get you out of trouble. So you got to tell us the truth. And me and dad going to be the ones who going to be behind you believing you. So always tell us the truth. Do not lie to us, right? So I soften my stance with my son and I'll tell him, like, oh, like, like, come on, tell me the truth. And I'll see him relax. I'll see his whole body relax and, and start to tell me the truth and say, Oh, you can see the worry of, of not getting in trouble, of a whooping or the game being taken away or whatever. You can see that relief come off of him. Like, oh, yeah, okay, now I'm going to tell you the truth. Look, this is what really happened, Mom. Whereas you're saying that you didn't coach the son, and maybe you didn't. I don't know about this story. I don't know if it's the truth or not. But what I am saying is, your energy and how you're pushing your kid saying, hey, no, what happened? What happened? And if you're showing any inkling of anger or being sad or crying or whatever, and and as you said in the writing on there, you said that he would, you know, he started to feel away because you were feeling away, and that's exactly what can happen. So your son just being hysterical and crying just out of the blue he could just be crying because of the energy that you're feeding. That he could just be crying because of the energy that he's feeding off of from you. Being mom, he think he's in trouble. Yada yada yada. So if this was me, I would just have to let the judicial system handle it because and I'm not saying now with me saying that. On a previous live that I did with Ayo Canseco, we will be going live tomorrow at 6.30 on the month of Saturdays. We're going to be talking about a whole nother situation with this young, with some people and their kids. Tomorrow, month of Saturdays, live, 6.30 p.m. EST. Now, in a previous live that me and Ayo have done together, we have both said, I told him, if this was my situation, and I'm dealing with a guy who's not the father, but he's around my kid. I believe it was our stepdad episode. I said I would have to talk to dad. Me and dad is going to talk to each other because one of us is about to go. And I know you guys understand what I mean by one of us is about to go. So, yeah, the judicial system can handle it, but so far, but, you know, I have to do what I have to do. I also told the same story where a guy did, he took the, he took justice into his own hands and then he said he regretted it because he left his child out here for the same thing that happened to her. So it's always a slippery slope and we'll just see how this unfold. We don't know. We don't know. And maybe, maybe they didn't really give a damn and thought it was just going to be a fake story that was just going to blow up. And in the next seven days, because, you know, the news cycle is in seven days. So next seven days, nobody's going to really remember what's going on. So 
God bless this kid because this kid really fucked up because that's dirty as a mom. Because that's another thing. As a mom, nothing in your motherfucking mind clicked and said, oh, I'm not going to do this to my kid because this lives on the internet forever. Nothing. Like, not like. And that's why people can come in here and judge because you kind of throwing your kid to the wolves for nothing. Like, handle it. the pro- If you're saying you're going down the proper channels of handling it, then leave it to them. It's not for us to know anything. First of all, FTM Bay and OTF Duty, y'all not even big like that. Only reason people was paying attention is because it was attached to Little Dirk's name. Conversations with me.